I'm going to make some short ribs and here's the short ribs. I have a pile of them and we need some red wine and some beef stock, tomato paste, onion, garlic, rosemary, thyme, bay leaves, and some fennel, and carrots, and celery. And let's get started. I'm going to take my short ribs and put some pepper on there and some salt. Kind of mix them around. Maybe just a little more salt. Mix them around. And let's go over to the pot. I'm going to put some olive oil in here. Maybe about a fourth of a cup. Place the ribs in here. I have three and a half pounds of ribs. You can use as much as five and a half pounds for the recipe. I'm going to do half of them at a time and just uh, round these up half of them at a time. I pretty much have these ground up. This is the second batch. We'll add it to the first batch. And it takes me about 15 minutes per batch to really brown these. You might be able to do it faster if you pay more attention. But I'm trying to do other things at the same time. Okay, and we're going to set this aside over here. And next we'll add the carrots. Celery, onion, and the fennel, and the garlic. Only two cloves of garlic. I don't want too much in there. And add just a little pinch of salt or two, just a pinch. Get all the brown bits off of the bottom of cooking these vegetables. These have been going, well, okay, I start cooking them in about 15 minutes, they start getting really soft. And I like to let them continue to cook. It's been going 10 more minutes for a time of 25 minutes total. And they're starting to get brown on the edges. You notice it more on the carrots than anything. And I'm going to add the tomato paste and stir this around and cook this. I cooked this about six minutes. Just really want to transfer all the flavors everywhere. I'm going to add three cups of the red wine. It's a mixture of Cabernet and Merlot. Merlot is about my favorite wine to drink. We're going to bring this back up to temperature and I want the level of liquid to fall by one half. So we're going to reduce this to one half. It's been reducing down. I turned the temperature down to medium low and before I was always cooking on medium high. It's getting nice and thick and it's browning up. Don't want it too brown, but that's the color you want. I'm going to add the beef broth. Now this is salted beef broth from the store. It has quite a bit of salt in there, so we want to mix this up. Mix it in pretty good, real quick. taste and see if we need more salt. Mm. I think it's okay. Maybe just a little more.
Mm, I like that better. Okay. So we're going to take our short ribs here, our ribs, put them back in. See if we can stick them all down in there. And I'm going to add just a little water. About three fourths of a cup. And let this come back up to a simmer. Next, I'm going to take my two bay leaves. Stuff them in there. It's come to a simmer. Right, stick in my rosemary and my thyme. Kind of bury them. Just get them down in there. And I'm going to put a lid on it. It goes in my 300 degree oven for three hours. Or you could do it at 350 for two hours. I have my plate made. Some of the ribs. And some gravy. It just is naturally made with them. Very nice. I hope you try it. And thanks for watching.